It's your girl, Dia Direct, and welcome back to the Superpower Podcast. We are starting a brand new season, and this season is all about the power of pivoting. Hmm. Because we've had to do just that in so many ways. So today I want to talk to you about going through changes. Have you been going through changes? I mean, are you one of those people who life has changed so much, so fast, so furious that you're having a hard time keeping up with it, that you're feeling overwhelmed by just how much you've been taken out of your comfort zone? whether it's because of the grief that you feel because you've lost a loved one or you've lost a job, you've lost your your sense of well-being, you've lost your sense of normalcy, or maybe you're in the process of a life change um, around age or health or relationship, and that's making you feel some kind of way. Um, out of sorts, making you reevaluate who you are, your worth even, um, making you reevaluate what matters most in your life right now. Here's what I know for sure. The one constant that we can all depend on is change. Easy? No. Easier said than done? Yes. But is it necessary? Absolutely. And I want to talk to you about some changes I've been going through. I want to talk to you about um, how we can really pivot in 2021 and really look at changes as an opportunity versus uh, something that just happened to us so that we don't spend our lives being a victim, right? So that we're not so overwhelmed by change that it keeps us stuck. Um, feeling out of control, feeling overwhelmed, feeling um, like we just are lost and don't know what to do. Well, the good news is that's part of the process when things change. Sometimes we have to go through those processes. Sometimes we literally have to have our lives disrupted in order to prepare us for what's next. Does it feel good? No. Um, Would you rather it not happen? But Is there a way for whatever you're dealing with right now, whatever you're going through, whatever feels like there's no way out, there's no way back up, there's no way back to yourself? Um, I'm here to let you know that there is hope and there is a way out and there's a way up and there's a way to better, to a better you, to a better perspective, to a better approach, to a better way to use your time, your energy um, and your mindset. And it all really begins in your thought process, right? Um, and and I want to talk to you about just that. I want to talk to you about some things that I've been going through and some uh, four particular practices that I've been using to really support me in this process. 